Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our esteemed guests, Mr. Mahesh Manjrekar and Mr. Sachin Kedekar. On behalf of the management and staff of Global Indian International School, we proudly welcome our guest, Mr. Mahesh Manjrekar, the winner of the National Film Award and the Star Screen Awards, as well as Mr. Sachin Kedekar, a writer, actor, director, and producer. We would also like to welcome Mr. Mahesh Limaye, the producer of a Marathi film for children, Balak Palak, and Mr. Ravi Jadhav, director of the same film. We are indeed honored to have you amongst us today. I'm an actor, I'm a writer, I'm a director. And I was never thought I would end up here. I started off wanting to do too many things. I wanted to be a cricketer. And midway through, I, I don't know, uh, as all kids were, I had a wonderful coach. Sachin Tendulkar's coach was my coach. And he believed I could have been a good bowler. But as all kids, you know, you must be knowing, you know, when you play cricket, you want to bat. You never want to bowl. And he used to never let me bat. He used to say, you bowler, banega, so don't bat. And I don't know, one fine day, I, I just got my ego to core and I quit cricket. Then I tried so many things in life, so I was always, I, I ended up being an actor and a director. I never thought I would be an actor. I think the kids today don't need to know what I have done, you know, because the net has become so advanced, one, one button, and you know everything about me. So let me, if you, if, if I can motivate you or if I can guide you, let me hear your questions if you have any. And uh, that is the way I can help you, and more than me telling you about myself. Uh, now, my question to you is that in your speech, you mentioned you've been an actor, a director, and a producer. So, which of these do you enjoy doing the most? Um, I enjoy direction the most. Okay. Because it is you, you, you lead a team. You're the captain of the ship. And uh, it always, uh, you know, you, you can actually dictate terms to people. No, but I don't love direction because I can do all these things. But uh, you create something. A director creates something. An actor or any other technician is part of the creation, but a director creates the whole. And um, I am also a story writer. I write my film. So, you know, when I write a film, I, I write a film and then I, I see a film. I never write a film. So I see a film. So most of the times, it, it gives me tremendous satisfaction when you see that creation taking shape. Any tips you could give for us amateur or directors or inspiring actors? Nothing. I, I feel you all should write a story. How a director, you know, people say there's a course of direction. Technically, you learn so many things when you want to be a director. But basically, you have to be a storyteller. I think if you want inspiration, you should take inspiration from your grandmother. If she tells a story brilliantly, what a director does is, he tells a story to the audience. It is his way of telling a story. A bad director can make an extremely good story badly. Or a good director can make an ordinary story very brilliant. You've made so many films of, with so many different storylines. So what is it exactly that inspires you to make a film? Anything. I think uh, if you look around you, that is where you get your source of inspiration. That is how I get my source of inspiration. Like, uh, when I made Vastav, I made it because I showed a life of a gangster, which is useless, and at the end of the day, there comes a time when uh, uh, he becomes a vegetable, he knows he's cornered, and he, he tells his mother, kill me. So, uh, a gangster without a gun is the biggest coward in the world. A few years back, I made a film called uh, Lal Bakh Parar, or it was made in Hindi as City of Gold. It was uh, about the mill, mill workers. There's been a strike in Mumbai, and the strike is still not over after 28 years. So somewhere, you know, their story. So if you look around you, you can find 10,000 stories. In India, as a film director, uh, what sort of challenges does he face? Filmmaking in India is, again, um, an actor-driven. That is the biggest challenge. Actors rule there. Actors decide what films are going to be made. Um, like if you go in the West, 
the directors are the bosses in india that is not the case actors uh, rule so but not in marathi cinema so i i do a lot of marathi cinema because i want to do my kind of cinema in india mostly actors dictate what type of cinema has to be made and uh, that is the biggest challenge yeah but and uh, actors in india are not ready to listen to scripts their uh, attention span is hardly one and a half minute what they want to when they want to do a film they want to see what they are going to do so they they prefer doing remakes you know of a telugu film tamil film english film french film they want to see what they are going to get into so that is the biggest hurdle we have you know we when you want an actor to listen he doesn't listen he doesn't want to listen to a script he wants to see what he's going to do and um there are producers who feel they know what the audience wants and most of the times they are wrong but they still believe that they know what the audience wants so to convince a producer to do your type of a cinema takes a lot you know like we did a film called kakasparsha we decided to do it 4 years back but we could manage it last year because i could, you know every producer had narrated it to he said you know this film won't work and uh, i tried to convince him it will work but he he didn't so after 4 years then i decided to do it myself i produced it myself and it worked so but you you need to be very very patient in india when you want to do a film i i am an actor for a while more than 20 years now i started with theater then i did my bit of television and now i am i do films i still do theater i miss being trained as actor i have whatever i have learned is i have learned on job and uh, by the time i could realize that there is something called national school of drama there is film institute there are media schools i was already working and uh, i could not go back to theory to students like you who want to pursue career in entertainment or in media there are whole lot of schools now which teach the subject in my belief every art has theory and the theory can be learned if you have the talent in you if you think that i can do i can make a difference uh, there are a whole lot of avenues and uh, institutes who teach you acting the actor uh, would always go through a lot of uh, uh, roles and more than what an actor can give a role the roles also teach you um, individually i mean what has left in me is whole lot of roles now and uh, the fact that i have done about 50 odd roles um, my personality has become um, has become a tool and i have like a sponge um, taken whole lot of things from my characters so the uh, i never wanted to live one life as sachin khedekar i have lived uh multiple lives in one life and that is what i wanted to do that is why that is what i inspired to be i wanted to live differently and i i'm still managing to do that so you know you're known for the sensitive portrayal of your roles what motivates you as an actor to give such depth when you enact your roles i really like acting and um you know the more i do it i'm now i am um, Uh, at a stage where uh, i want to prove myself again and again and i want to have that high all the time so the most inspiring thing about acting is the role and that portrayal of the role and the process through which you go to do that so the process is interesting for me the the result is the afterthought i mean if the audience likes it does not like it but the actor director actor cameraman actor writer relationship is what i thrive on my question for you is that in the film industry there are many challenges for you to face every day so do you think that it is very important to have a godfather in the film industry <laughs> yes it helps to have a godfather in the industry the uh, whatever i have spoken till now i am i am a purist at heart i want to see things uh and not manipulate and do it the right way but in india the 99% of the films made are with 
the sole motive of entertainment. And uh, uh, I want to do meaningful films which rarely come my way. Uh, but the task here is to pursue that ambition to do meaningful films and make a difference. And I'm too small an actor to make a difference, but uh, I try and do my bit. And in India, the, like Mahesh said, the stars govern the Hindi films. Marathi, we keep working in Marathi films because um, that's not a very commercially driven cinema. There are some uh, newer audience who wants to see different subjects, who wants to see um, uh, thought-provoking films, who want to see um, films which are, um, which would make them think, which would make them cry, which would make them uh, happy, all sorts. And uh, it, it is really the Hindi cinema which Bollywood is known for is pure entertainment and uh, by the numbers as I see, they are doing well for themselves. Do what you love to do. There are so many times, uh, I've seen so many people who are not satisfied because they let their parents decide what they want them to do. I feel somewhere the students should be asked what they want to do in life. They should do things which they love to do. I, I was a good artist. My father uh, never told me to become a doctor or an engineer. He told me to go to JJ School of Arts. I, I chose science because and I learned from my mistakes. I wanted to be a doctor. I don't know why. Something, some pressures, the, 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 the social pressures sometimes influence you to want to be a doctor or an engineer or an architect. But uh, you should be absolutely in love with what you want to do. The students should pursue what they love to do. And uh, if they want to get into media, cinema, it, I think it's such a beautiful field because it lets you think uh, more widely. You, you are a creator, you can create anything. It was an exceptional uh, experience visiting the global Indian International School because I, I feel uh, that is where, uh, if, if a student is comfortable in his uh, schooling environment, if he feels nice about it, I think this campus was beautiful and uh, it's a privilege sometimes for these children to go to a wonderful school. Global Indian International School. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised to be here and uh, for the students' interaction. Um, I found the students extremely smart and they did ask questions uh, which were, uh, which didn't make a difference. And uh, the fact that they could think of these questions and put it across uh, was extremely impressive. It uh, speaks a lot about the school and how the teachers are teaching them the right things. I have always felt that uh, everybody should be a purist at heart. The world around is not so nice, but it's the, it's the, is the nice things or the pure quality of the core which comes through and which would make a difference. Global Indian International School, nurturing global citizens.